Hi everyone, many people have troubles mounting that kind of Intel stock cooler. So in this video, I will quickly explain you how it works, so you have better understanding how to avoid potential issues. If you're building a PC for the first time, I highly recommend practicing the installation two or three times before applying the thermal paste, so you have an idea how the installation process goes. However, don't forget to apply it before your final installation. The Intel stock cooler features four locking posts, each one consisting of translucent plastic and black plastic pin. The translucent plastic, which I'll call expansion anchors, should be inserted into the motherboard's mounting holes. When you press the black post, they push a pin, which spreads the translucent parts, and this holds the cooler to the motherboard. You need first to reset the position of these pins. To do so, you need to pay attention to the arrows that are engraved on the black caps. If they are pointing towards the CPU cooler, this means that they are optimized for dismounting the cooler. And if they are pointing away from the CPU cooler, this means that they are optimized for installation. What you need to do initially is rotate all of them to be pointing towards the CPU cooler. After this, you need to pull all the black posts, so there are no more black pins between the translucent parts. If you're reinstalling the cooler, you might need to shrink a little bit the expansion anchors, so you can just squeeze them with your fingers a little bit. Next, you need to rotate all caps in a ready for installation position, so they are pointing away from the CPU cooler. Now the CPU cooler is ready for installation and you need to apply some thermal paste of your choice. This type of coolers have a small circular contact area, so all you need to do is apply a small pea-sized dot at the center of the CPU. Now gently lower the cooler over the CPU by making sure that you match the holes with the expansion anchors. You can verify that it's inserted by slightly rotating it back and forth and seeing that all the black posts are moving. Then what most people do is just press on the black posts. But what I recommend doing instead is pressing the inner part of the cooler until the expansion anchor fits in. Then you need to push the black post to lock it. And then we can proceed with the next one which is diagonally positioned from the one that we already latched. Just press the inner part down until the expansion anchor fits in. And then lock it in place. Then proceed doing the same procedure with the other diagonal. Just press the inner part down and push the black post down. Then do the same with the last pin, just push the inner part down and then press the black post. You can verify that they are properly fitted by rotating the motherboard and checking the back side and inspecting that all black pins has pushed through the expansion anchors. The last step is to connect the cable to the CPU fan header. However, most times the cable is too long, so you need to do a simple loop to shorten the cable. To unmount the CPU cooler, you need to do the reverse. You need first to rotate the black caps so the arrows are pointing towards the CPU cooler. and then gently lift the posts up. It's recommended to change the thermal paste every time that you remove the cooler. Thank you all for watching, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this.